Hi, it's Lee San. So I just saw a video by The Vegan Couple discussing a comment that they received by someone who had been watching High Carb Hannah's videos about the potato diet and this person was starting to restrict their calories and The Vegan Couple looked at a few videos that High Carb Hannah had made including one where she included how many calories she was eating and it turned out that on one of those days Hannah was only eating 1800 calories and this was during the potato diet that she was doing and they were discussing whether this person who had commented that they were starting to restrict their calories was doing it because of Hannah's videos. I commented on the vegan couple's video and I said that I don't think that Hannah is intentionally encouraging people to restrict their calories but she does probably have to be careful because there are people who are new to the vegan lifestyle and who might not know that much about nutrition or who just come from restrictive backgrounds and they will tend to restrict their calories just because it's what they've always done to lose weight and they'll do whatever it takes to lose weight. So when they see someone like Hannah who is losing quite a lot of weight through eating potatoes but then she shows that she's only eating less than 2,000 calories a day, then people can misinterpret that to mean that you can only lose weight by calorie restricting no matter what diet you're on. And I think the thing with a potato diet is that it can be easy to under eat because potatoes make you full so easily. So that would be my only reason to not go on a diet like that because you just feel like you might not be eating enough calories and then you could have some problems from that. But in general, a potato diet is very healthy and as long as you can eat enough calories to sustain your activity levels and to feel healthy and energized, then you should be fine. So I don't think that it's Hannah's fault necessarily. I just think that people can misinterpret advice or they will see a result that someone is getting and they will want to follow what that person is doing even if that person's body is different or if that person has different calorie needs than them. With Hannah's potato diet, because it's so easy to under eat I can understand why she was only eating 1800 calories on that day that she showed the number of calories she was eating but on other days, and I haven't seen all the videos but on other days she could have been eating more calories and people might have missed those videos and seen how much she was actually eating. From what I've seen, it looks like she's eating a good amount of food, but sometimes it can be misleading as well because you don't really see how many calories it is until you put it into chronometer. Hannah, being a popular YouTuber, does need to be careful with how she portrays her diet to other people and I'm not saying it is her fault and I'm not saying she's doing a bad job of promoting the vegan lifestyle to other people but just be aware that there are people who come from a background of calorie restriction and who don't know so much about the vegan lifestyle and that you can eat as much as you want and you don't have to calorie restrict because there's people like that watching you do have to always say eat enough calories and if you under eat on a certain day, maybe you should say something like I ate less calories today because I got really full eating potatoes or I was eating a lot of calories the day before or I made up for it the next day. So I know it seems kind of unnecessary to have to go through all that detail but it might help and it might reduce the number of people who could misinterpret the videos as saying that you need to starve yourself to lose weight. So those are my thoughts on Hannah's potato cleanse and people who start restricting their calories because of any videos that they've seen by her. Let me know if you think Hannah should portray her diet in a different way, whether she should have eaten more, whether the potato diet is a good idea or not. So I look forward to hearing from you.